Hello now, welcome back. Probably the final piece that we need to talk about that you need to have in place as a foundational piece is to make sure that the copy that you have on your website, wherever you're promoting from, is really going to be converting your visitors to whatever you want them to do. Now, obviously, one of the ways in which you can have that writing done for you, you can have that copywriting done for you, is to have it outsourced. You can go to a place like Elance. You can go to a place like Odesk. Any other freelancing sites where you want to have review blog posts, blog posts written, you can have sales pages written, you can have squeeze page written. All you need to do is to hire those things out, find the appropriate price, and you can do that on these sites. Now, that may not necessarily be what you want to do, and it also may be cost prohibitive before you really know if you're going to be making money on a particular project. Now, there is a way for you to find the copy um, of other people that has been written that you know has been successful. And one of the ways in which you find successful affiliates is you type in, you go to Google, and what you're going to do is you're going to type in JV Affiliate Leaderboard. Now you can type that in, you can type that, those search parameters in for any product that you know has been sold, any internet marketing product, and you're going to be able to find the leaderboard of some of the internet marketing products that have been sold. Now why are you going to do this? Because you want to find out how they are marketing. You want to find out if they're using a review blog. You're going to find out if they're doing it by email. And if, you're, if they're doing it by email, you want to get on their email marketing list so that you can take their copy that they're writing in emails and swipe it. You want to find out how they're doing their squeeze pages and sales pages. You want to find out how they are writing their review blog posts. Let's take a look. Now, we've got one right here at the top. That you can see here, Easy Video Suite. Right, so we can just click right in there to see the leaderboards. We want to find out who the successful affiliates were. So here we have a list of affiliates who did extremely well. So what we want to do is to find out how they're marketing. We want to find out what they're writing in terms of copy. And I can mention all these names. They may be names you are familiar with. They may not be names you're familiar with. However, it doesn't really matter if you don't necessarily have a good handle on getting started on writing the right kind of copy to start with before you start analyzing how your visitors are responding to it. You can start by finding successful JVs. And you can find them by using those search parameters that I just talked about and looking at the leaderboard and then going to their particular sites, going to them and looking to see how they're marketing. Most of these people are probably going to be marketing by email, but you will find that some of them will have squeeze pages and review pages that will help you in order to put yours together. Now, one other thing that you can do is you can go inside of one of the affiliate networks like JVZoo or Warrior Plus, and you can see the cop you can see products that have sold extremely well and the reason that you want to do this is that you want to start looking at the sales pages of products that have sold extremely well so you're going to need a an account with JVZoo and you're going to get an account with JVZoo or Warrior Plus either one of those sites or both and you want to start looking at sales pages you want to start looking at how the copy is written and in general once you do that you can actually look at some of the sales pages this is an old product so we're going to take a look at this product we'll take a look and see their particular sales page okay so here's a product that sold 8,000 copies now obviously the product was probably one that was in demand but one of the things you want to take note of is some elements of copywriting that are going to be in anything, whether or not you're writing a blog post, putting together a sales page, or even a squeeze page. You're going to have a headline. As you can see right here, there's a headline there. And you want to have your headline to make sure that it grabs the attention of your reader. In some cases, you can actually use a video where you're going to put the entire sales presentation or the entire sales letter in the form of a video, where you're literally going to talk the uh, talk the visitor through what it is they're going to be looking at, talking them through what it is they're going to be seeing, talk, talking them through what you're offering them. You're also going to have little copywriting elements such as subheadlines in here, as you can see right here. You're also going to be able to see that there are stories. Right, so that there is a connection to the actual uh, person who's visiting the site. You're also going to see what's called proof, or in other words, 
What's the proof that the concept is going to work? You want to have these elements in your sales present presentation, whether or not it's a sales page, whether or not it's a squeeze page, even if it's a review blog post, these are copywriting elements. And if you look closely at a successful sales page, you can adapt those elements into whatever it is that you're offering. And that's how you're going to convert visitors. That's how you're going to help visitors to uh, make the decision that they want to make in order to buy or in order to uh, opt in or whatever it is you want to help them along in the process with your copy now once again of course you can have copy written for you however if you if that's cost prohibitive and you're not at that point a very good way is to look at successful products we just talked about you can also look at successful affiliates Okay, one of the keys is also going to be graphics. You want to have a good graphic presentation. You'll see that here. Um, and you want to make sure that your graphics presentation is not going to be any different than what's expected. So where you see uh, graphics, 3D boxes, if there's a 3D box in your industry, you want to make sure that you have 3D boxes in your industry because that's pretty much what people are going to respect and that it is well done. So make sure that you have these elements of copywriting. Make sure you have the graphical elements outsource what you can if you are not a graphics person once again you're going to want to go to places like elance and have them outsource if you uh are not necessarily comfortable with elance you can certainly go to the warrior form and have it outsource as you can see, the Warrior Forum has entire uh, subforms dedicated to people who can do this work for you. Members looking to hire you, right? Classified ads, there are a number of ways that you can start advertising to find people who can either do the graphics for you and write the copy for you. You can find these people and they will, a can and will do this work for you. So uh, this is something that once again, you have the maximum flex flexibility. You also want to make sure that you are doing something that you can tell whether or not it's working with some of your analytical tools. So as you begin to take note of some of these affiliates that you are seeing over and over again, constantly showing up, you want to take a look not only at their process, but you definitely want to take make sure that you're looking at their copy so that you can incorporate those elements that they are obviously using over and over to be successful on their launches and on their promotion so that you can do the very same thing as you start to drive traffic to your place. Now, once again, this is a foundational element. It's one of those things that you need to have in place, good copy. And once again, if, you don't, if you're not ready to outsource it, you can do this by what's called swiping right, the elements of successful copy. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.